What is up, y'all? Welcome to another kind of a map walkthrough of Silverine. I'm going to show you guys uh, basically the entire map and how I like to work it. And I have a very uh, strong opinion on how I like to actually run this map when I play on it. And I virtually never, ever, ever, you know, go negative ever on this map. I usually can, you know, do some pretty, pretty ridiculous uh, matches on this game. And you will see those in the future here when I actually do some multiplayer. And uh, just an FYI, if you guys were wondering, I was uh, ranked uh, all the way up to number 24 in the world for a few days until I just couldn't take the pressure of playing, uh, you know, just outrageously amounts on a, on a daily basis. But uh, and if you guys don't believe me, you can check out my Instagram because I do have photos of all that. So uh, here is one spawn here. The spawns are kind of uh, all on one edge back here and on the opposite edge. This is a pretty small map. Um, so... The thing I like to do as soon as I spawn is I like to, depending on which side obviously, I like to run right up the stairs immediately, come out here, and then the place, and I'm going to show you guys, uh, in the in the last map uh, walkthrough that I did on uh, Stonehaven, I showed you the spot I like to run very last, the best part of the map. So I'm going to show you guys the best part of the map to run first on this uh, map. So you got to spawn over here. People tend to run up here immediately, and the spot that I absolutely love to work on this map, and I run this, and uh, you can call this camping, but I don't. Uh, I call camping sitting, you know, in a spot and not moving. This is just strictly running a section of the map, and it's the middle area. It's the top middle area. And the reason why I say this is because on this side of this middle area, you have this window here, and uh, this is actually the class setup that I'm... Uh, that I always use on this map and I'll go over that in a separate video as well But uh, just being over here You can get the people that all run upstairs after they spawn all the people that run downstairs after they spawn And anybody that's trying to get over to the middle area within this section And this is just a fantastic spot to hold down So with this side being like this since this is basically a completely even map What I do is after I take out a few people on this side and I think there's gonna be a spawn flop is I run over to this side and I'll do the same thing. You have the same point of view, uh, a little different than the other side, but still the same thing. People spawn back in that area. They run up to that top area right there. People like to camp right at those stairs. That's kind of the middle section right over there. So basically I just run this whole area right here and this is just a great spot. You can even come out here. You can see people down there. If you have a good headset on, you can actually hear the footsteps, you know, as long as they don't have dead silence on, you can really hear them. So uh, just run this middle area. And you only have to focus on a couple of entryways. You have this main entryway right here. You have this other one on the opposite side. And then you do have uh, two back ones. You have this side for the back right there. And then also this one, which is stairs coming up. Now, if you carry IEDs with you, you can plant an IED here, come up here, and then you can kind of just basically watch this spot. You can see if anyone's trying to get over that to that spot there. And of course, you can use your map to your advantage on this as well. Um, being if you play on a uh, hardcore, you know, you definitely got to pay attention to things without having the map up all the time. So uh, this is what I like to do. I just love to run this spot. It's it's a really good spot to run. You also have this little section here. I don't really go out here because it's kind of risky, but you can see, you know, all down the middle here. You can see the very, very middle. A lot of times people will spawn along back there. There's kind of a, a lower area you can spawn in there. So you got to watch out for that. But really the only ways they can get up is that side that side or the back the two back spots right there so this is just a fantastic spot to own so love running this middle area so you have these catwalks on both sides as you've seen here's the other side you can come out here this is a dumb spot to be there's too much open unless you're really good at sitting here and just spinning like this but uh, i would not sit there you'll die pretty quickly especially with people spawning there and people fighting over the middle area so here's the other spawn which is the opposite of where we spawned and the back areas are pretty good size i would definitely wouldn't sit back here um, not a good spot to sit so people that spawn back here like I said they're either gonna come uh, out there they're gonna come up the top most people will go up the top or they'll come out here and then basically uh, you know people go up here as well this is kind of dumb but I don't know I don't like going up this way I think it's a waste of time just steer clear of the ladders so also you have that spot and then you do have all the way over here another spot where people love to camp they love to lay down and camp right here so this is this area spawn you do have the whole bottom area which you know I really wouldn't sit around and try and control you just don't have any views of anything 
I guess you could sit right here and camp, but it's just stupid. Um, yeah, it's just basically kind of a no view kind of area. Same as the other side of which we spawned. So then you have the opposite side of the map. You have this kind of area here down in the middle. Another spot you don't really want to be. It's just a hallway pretty much. You do have the ladders on both sides and then the stairways on both sides. So we'll come out this side over here now. You definitely want to watch out for the... Um, I'm not sure what they are, but they slide through. Those things going to kind of screw you over. And now here you have the very back part of this map right here. Another little building here. Not a very good area to hold down. There's just It's just not a good... You know, you don't have any good angles or anything. Maybe this doorway if you have to, but not exactly the best spot to be. So there's another exit for one of the spawns opposite side over there and then you have the middle area here that goes down like I said you also do have right over here a passage between uh, you know the back half here and then the big main side over here so uh, that's pretty much it for Silverine. Um another spot I've seen a lot of people camp I just don't know why is this stupid corner I, I just don't think this is a good spot because you'll get picked off really easily, especially if they're spawning, you know, down below here next to you. People are going to come out this way, and they'll see you just sitting there if you're not focusing all the way down this way. And it's just kind of a dumb idea to be there. But people do camp that spot. They camp the opposite side, which is all the way down there at that doorway. Up those, uh, up the ladder there. They like to lay down there as well, so watch out for campers there. I've seen people do that a lot. Uh, pretty stupid in my opinion. And like I said, just uh, throughout the match, focus on running this area. Uh, the spots you're going to definitely want to be looking constantly is the the top half there, that little lower half, even over in here as they come passing through. You want to watch that stairway to make sure they're not working their way to get you. And then we'll do the other side one more time just so you guys see what I like to do. I like to, I like to view this side from in this window because then you can kind of crouch down and it hides a bunch of your body. It makes it a lot harder to hit. So you got that. You got that spot. You can stand back up and see down in that area. If you have to, you can come out here. You can see down there if there's action going on there. Uh, and then you have this doorway back here, which loops around to the back. And then here's the two ways up from the back again. So that's what I like to do, guys. Um, definitely on your next match on Silverine, focus on holding down this middle area. I can guarantee you'll get some great results as long as you're pretty good at shooting. And uh, this is actually the site I like to use. I think it's probably the best site in the game just because it makes your enemies glow. And uh, it's very, very helpful for longer distance shots. And um, I'll go over my class setup in a separate video. But this is Silverine. This is what I like to do, guys. I think this is probably, you know, the best spot to hold down. And if you can get your team working with you, too, you can, you know, have one, two, three people up here holding this area down. You have someone watching this area, watching the downstairs spots coming in. Plant an IED back down here when you hear that go off. Go ahead and plant another one if you have, like, Scavenger on or something. You could have um, one other person here holding down this spot, maybe focusing on this window and taking turns on this window. And then the last guy you could have at this doorway and this window here and just kind of work together to run this map. It really, you know, you take, it takes a team effort to win these games. Uh, so, yeah, this is Silverine, so guys. This is the map walkthrough. This is my strategy. This is what personally works for me. Um, I, I can guarantee you guys will get good results if you kind of go off of this strategy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of walkthrough video. If you did, definitely throw me that thumbs up. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.